Number seven, write the Lewis structures of the reactants and product of each of the following equations and identify the Lewis acid and the Lewis base in each. Okay. So writing the Lewis structure shouldn't be that new, right? There was a whole chapter that we went over going through how to write Lewis structures. So that'll kind of be a little bit of a review here. The only thing that's new is that from those Lewis structures, we just have to identify which is the Lewis acid and the base. So I just wrote down here, as for reference, how many valence electrons each element has, and we're gonna use those to make our Lewis structures. So for AlOH3, it seems like we have aluminum bound three times to an oxygen and then a hydrogen. So let's just write that out. So I have aluminum, and then I have an O and an H, and maybe I'll write the other one on this side, an O and an H, and maybe I'll write the one on the bottom, O and an H. So that's the structure for it, if we wanted to actually just write out all the bonds. And now, let's see. Aluminum has three valence electrons, so one, two, three. Oxygen has six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And each hydrogen only has one. So one, one, and one. Single bonded up, just to see what's going on with the octet. So single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond, and single bond. And if we notice, Everybody is good. All the oxygens have the octet, the hydrogen is all good, and the aluminum is one of the exceptions that it likes to have six electrons or three bonds when it's neutral. So I have this coming in with just a, another OH. So I have oxygen, and then I have a hydrogen. Oxygen has six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and the hydrogen has one. This negative charge means that throughout the whole compound, you gained one electron. Always put it towards the more electronegative elements. So that would be the oxygen. So I'm just gonna throw it over here. And now I'm gonna bind one bond and we have the octet. The oxygen is the one that actually has the negative charge. So I will put just a negative over here. Okay. Now it seems, what is the product? Well, the product looks like it's the aluminum with just the added OH, right? There was one, two, three. Looks like there's a little bit of room up here to add one more OH. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this because that's what we have over here. And uh-oh, I need some more room. So I'm just gonna pull this over. Let's see. Okay, beautiful. And now let's add the OH up top here. So I have an oxygen and then I have a hydrogen. Remember, each oxygen has six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And each hydrogen has the one valence electron. And this compound also gained one electron. So just put it with the more electronegative element. That's the oxygen. Bind them up, single bond. Well, this is good. And now, do you notice that this is the same as this and that this is the same as this? How are we going to put these two together? Well, this is where the Lewis base and the acid come into play. It seems like the aluminum has no electron to bind. So this aluminum can't donate any electrons. However, the oxygen, right, specifically the oxygen, has two electrons, it has a pair. And that one, let's just say it's represented by this one. The base is always the one that donates that electron pair, the two dots. So since that oxygen has the two electrons that it can share between the oxygen and the aluminum, these two electrons are not dots anymore, they just turn into a bond. And you could see that as these two electrons are going to come in to that aluminum, and now they share a bond. If we actually did the formal charges on all of this, it turns out that now the aluminum is the one that has the negative charge because it accepted one more electron. And 
All we have to do is just label who's the Lewis acid, Lewis base. Keep in mind that the Lewis base is the one that donates. And if you see a negative, that generally means that it's going to be the base. And it's always the one that kick starts everything off. So this OH minus is the Lewis base. And the other one, the receiving end, is the Lewis acid. Keep in mind that the Lewis base and the Lewis acid are always your reactants, not your products. So don't even look at this negative. This is the only one that has to be the Lewis base. And there you go. I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in future questions. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. I'll talk to you soon, right? Okay, bye-bye.